They're pretty backed up in x-ray, but they'll be ready for you soon. Okay. Uh, will the fair Jolene be accompanying me? You're my patient until somebody takes you off my hands. Oh, uh, uh, the jackal is astounded by your, you know, your, your dedication to your noble craft. <laughs> and you're the jackal? It's the assassin of cyberspace. Um, trusted right hand of Stone Cold, you may... And Stone Cold is Mr. Morgan. Chase. Right. We, uh... We are brothers in arms, bonded through many trials. I mean, we have escaped the minions of law enforcement. You're supposed to be and rescued, not talking. Dude, I was, I was about to tell her about our adventures in the Metro Court, rescuing the unfortunate be hostage. Quiet. Be quiet. Is she, is she allowed to have something to drink? It's fine. Okay. Give me the bat. Well, um, I'll be back to take you to X-ray when the police are finished. Ooh. Uh, police? To question you about the gunshot wound? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Fair one. That's unnecessary. See, no, I mean, no crimes were, were committed. All is well. Right? Stonehold? Did you already file the report? I'm sorry, it's procedure. Anytime there's a gunshot wound, we have to notify the authorities. I hope you're not implying there's negligence on the part of our state. Someone put a canister of laughing gas in an ambulance. Just, just a moment, Commissioner. It's They're backed up in the yard again. Well, we can't afford to call any more staff. You are going to have to pull personnel from other floors to cover. That will leave the other floors unattended. Just please take care of it. I will call the county to speak to them about handling the overflow. You just walk in without a warning? I apologize. I'm Dr. Winters. I'm here to help you. But first, I need some information. I've already been diagnosed. Post-traumatic stress disorder. All I need from you is a prescription for Percodin. If all I did was pass out drugs to whoever asked, I wouldn't be much of a doctor now, would I? You think you can carry me to two tours in a ruck? Good luck. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go Get your scrawny butt back in the skirt. Did you hear her singing? The only thing I'm hearing is you asking pointless questions instead of waiting your turn like everyone else. I swore I just heard a man singing over there. You know what? You can't have this cat scan a minute too soon. Excuse me, uh, Regina. Regina, right. Uh, do you know where Layla is? Uh, she's over there. Thanks. Layla? Scopia? Uh, yes, I, I just I wanted to apologize for snapping at you earlier. I was worried about Dr. Drake and I just overreacted. I understand. Uh, Dr. Lee wanted me to check out a patient of hers, Stacy Sloan. Yeah, she's right over there. Thanks so much. So the grandmother said the children just adore it. Now, I didn't want to contradict, I, but I think... That... Excuse me, Stacy Sloan? Yes. Dr. Robin Scorpio, Kelly is in surgery. She asked me to see you. If you'll come with me. Yes. I'm sorry to copy you, doctor, but when do you think you'll be able to get to me? I will get Miss Sloan settled, and then I'll send a nurse to see you. Okay. Yeah. Is it is it illegal to shoot yourself? It was, it was an accident. You know what's so frustrating? He said I I practiced. I was in the arcade for hours practicing, and my scores were like in the tens of thousands. I thought I was I thought I was ready, but you know, I I didn't realize that in actuality the gun would be so actual. Okay, and and now the minions of law enforcement are going to interrogate me. Just look, tell the truth. That's what it. What if they don't believe me? Look, the jackal is not... Stone Cold, I, I don't want to be arrested. Okay, my granny would kill me, and I, I don't think Just I could defend down. myself if my fellow prisoners got, like... not going to be arrested. Did... You... Wow, you... Did you call in a favor? Deepest gratitude. Excuse me. Cruz Rodriguez, PCPD. You must be Damien Spinelli. Cor correct mundo. <laughs> How'd you get shot, Mr. Spinelli? Um, well, I, I, I see, I, I borrowed Stone Cold's weapon to improve my prowess. That'd be Mr. Morgan's gun? I, yeah, yeah, no, I was just trying to be more proficient. I you have a license to carry the gun, Mr. Morgan? Yeah, I do. Hold on. Dude, um, focus. Here. 
Okay. See, the jackal is has the most crucial it's position valid. as is Stone Cold's right hand. Did you shoot, did you shoot yourself? It was an accident. I'm going to have to charge you with illegal possession of a handgun, firing a weapon without a license, and reckless endangerment. Dude, I, I wasn't trying to hurt anyone. I swear, I was just trying to... Your just do six months in county. Uh, okay, wait, wait, fire. wait. It was an accident, okay? Like Spinelli said. I shot him. Are you experiencing any cramping? No, I think I'm fine, but I skinned my knees. Right. Doctor, before you treat me, did uh, Dr. Lee have a chance to tell you that I'm HIV positive? Uh, it never gets any easier telling people, does it? No. At least for me, it doesn't. No. I'm HIV positive as well. Really? Do you think that's why Dr. Lee asked you to uh, treat me? Oh, no, she was running to an emergency C-section. I doubt she had time to think about it. Wow, well, in any case, it's very nice to have a doctor who truly understands. It's crazy in the ER tonight, I know, but that ambulance exploding, that was horrible. That poor woman. How's Dr. Drake? I believe he'll make a full recovery, much to Dr. Scorpio's relief. Why was she looking for you? To apologize for biting my head off. You got an apology? Wow, it has to be first in the history of student nursing. <laughs> Dr. Scorpio blew up that Layla was standing too close to her man. Where'd you get that? Deductive reasoning. You had to go up to his room to give his blood panel, and obviously you guys talked, and the doctor didn't like it. She's a little possessive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but can you blame her? He's good looking and nice. Sexy. She admits it. Plus, he's a gifted surgeon. Or was. He hit the pavement pretty hard after the explosion. I just hope it didn't do any permanent damage. <laughs> well, you finally came back. Well, this is the first time I've been here tonight. I was expecting someone else. Oh, well, me too. They said to clean out this room because a patient was sent to the morgue. Yeah, I guess it could have been. Let me ask you, what are the odds of me stepping into an exploding ambulance on my first day back in the ER? Maybe you just got lucky. There's no cramping, and the baby is reactive. But if you feel any discomfort, it's safe to take acetaminophen. No, I think I'm going to be fine. In any case, it wants to take another pill. It used to be so much worse, I remember. Over 10 years ago, I started taking the cocktail. I felt like I swallowed 100 pills a day. Mm. Yeah, I've been HIV positive for five years now, and it um, really took me some time to adjust. A lot of people out there who think I'm crazy to have a baby. Well, those people obviously haven't done their research. Well, there's a stigma out there attached to being HIV and choosing to have a baby. Sorry, I don't mean to get on my soapbox. No, no, I agree with you. HIV shouldn't keep anyone from having a child. Cubicle four, acute gastrointestinal distress. I'll give it to one of the interns. Look here, Dr. God's gift of medicine. Dr. Drake has been admitted as a patient. That means I am short one warm body. You are the replacement. Cubicle four. Went to light a cigarette and the next thing I know... World War Three. Nurse Johnson said you thought you were in a combat situation. And those instincts kick in. Your body doesn't care where the adrenaline's coming from. You just feel like you've been trained. So I need something to calm me down. I'm sorry. I can't prescribe Percodan or any other medication until we've had a couple sessions. What am I supposed to do tonight? Well, I think we should continue with the session. Try to deal with what happened and <laughs> stay. If you can't give me the drugs, you're wasting my time. 